Hi guys, this is Leisha Joya. Thank you very much for coming to this video. I'm um, going to try to make this as short and sweet as possible, but um, I have been requested to do a video on how to do Casper Vend. A lot of people want to change their um, their vendors from Hippo to Casper Vend because Casper Vend usually only uses one script. Hippo uses a few more which can lag a sim. However, Hippo is so good. Just want to let you guys know. I'm not bagging on Hippo. Today I decided to use my voice equalizer and so you can see my lips moving. I usually don't allow my voice to move in these types of videos but I decided to, hey, you know what? It's about time. Alright, we're gonna get started. So what you're gonna need to get started is you're going to need a vendor, a Casper Venn. You can try the free version if you want but it takes money out. You don't get the 100% and it comes, you're going to need a Dropbox. The actual same version as the actual vendor itself. Okay? Now, if you notice that my Dropbox, it says zero items listed. Box is live, zero items listed. It's because I don't have anything in this box. Do not put more than 200 items in this box. I tried putting no more than than a hundred because it takes longer to read and it makes delivery time even longer. Um, this is a seven panel. Let's go here. Casper Venn uh, 2 seven panel flat version uh, 2.12. This is version 2.10 but it has been already updated to the 2.3 with the um, the uh, Casper B, pretty much. Okay, now we're going to create and we're going to create our product. Okay, we're going to go. You need to have your items boxed for Casper Vin. So we're going to create a box, and we're going to go into texture, and we're just going to randomly pick a texture. Okay. It could be the picture of your actual product itself. It could be anything. So we're just going to go to textures. Let's go to warm wood. Let's just do glitter. Let's just do that one. And we're going to click OK. There you go. There's your box. This is the part where you're going to need to change the name which I'll type in LJH designs awesome box okay <laughs> that's gonna be the product name alright and then for example sake we're gonna put a f uh, fake item in so let's um, Let's put my shoe. Hold on. Ah. At least one of my shoes. Sorry, I work a lot. <laughs> so you're going to need to make sure that you have your item inside here. We need outfits for. Alright. We're going to put a pair of shoes in here. And. I know it's, well, you know what, we're gonna actually gonna label it. Awesome box, awesome um, monster. Monster, claw, boots. And we're just gonna just do, just like, so. So now this is actually named LJH Design Monster Claw Boots. Which are these boots I am wearing right now? Which are unfinished project at the moment. Yeah, these are an unfinished project. Yeah. Oh, I, I put shine on these? Oh man, I'm gonna have to fix that. Okay, sorry, I got sidetracked guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> and, and now we're gonna put a, uh, a texture inside here. I have the actual mesh texture right in here, but we're gonna pick a random picture. All right. And let's go to my photo album. Let's see. 
<laughs> okay, I'm gonna make a copy and then I'm gonna paste it. <laughs> this is gonna be your pretend uh, monster glob, okay? Make sure it's the correct one. Yeah. Alright. Now, I'm gonna rename it Monster Claw Boots Pick. Alright. Now, we got it here. Now, in here, you're gonna want to change your properties of your actual photo to full perm. And then here is where you want to set your permissions for the actual items inside the box. Click copy and then here you don't want nobody to modify the copy or the transfers. Take off the transfer first, then the copy, and then the modify. Now for this sake, we're going to go right click, click more, and we're going to just take copy. Okay. Then we're going to go into our recent folder. So you want to have a picture and the object itself boxed. So I'm going to go to edit inside this drop box. Go into, click on the content section and you're going to see objects. You're going to drop it there and then the photo album, Monster Claw Boots. You're going to see it change to update pending. And so take a little while, the more items you have, the longer it's going to take. So as we are waiting, we'll go to the next section after it says, you're good to go, pretty much. Do, 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 we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Ta-da! Now it says, we're good to go. All right, white usually means good and boxes live two items listed. Anytime you refresh this or anytime you add anything, you're gonna go through this process again. And here's what I like to do as well. I actually like to name my Dropbox. So I'm gonna name it example for YouTube. This is what I'm doing it, okay? And then there you go. Now I'm also gonna label this panel example for YouTube. And you'll see why in a minute. You can label this whatever you want. Affiliate vendor, you can label this. Boots, hair, eyes, whatever you want. You c it's just unlimited. You can actually label this inside Casper event itself. So now we're going to look into the box again. Go into the contents and you have the Monster Claw Boots and the Monster Claw Boots pick. And these are not going to be sold right now because I'm fixing a few errors in my boots and I'm also have to package them and add more colors, hug them, blah blah blah, etc, 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 etc. Okay, now the next part is this. This is the part where you're probably going to get all tricky. Now the next part you're going to see, you're going to click on this on the actual panel and you're going to want to go and click admin. Now it says load web page. I just say go to page. It says do you really want to do this? Just say yes. Just say okay. Now this is the part where you have to put in your password. If you don't have a password you'll get a default one and you can change it. Okay, now this is the back panel of Casper Vent. Okay, at the top right here, it actually will, if you click on the actual vendor you're working on, it will actually take you to the exact page on where your vendor is at. So right now it says vendor name, Casper Vent, blah, blah, blah. Example for YouTube, C, C, C. And you could change this, and this will also change in world. You could change the display name if you want, the location where it's at, the type, and then the profile, and the description, the group discount, etc., etc., etc. You can even change this to a single product vendor if you so wish, but this is also a seven panel vendor. 
So before you can even add your new item into your actual Casper vent, you're gonna have to go to products. So click on products, this product tab on the side. Wait for it to load. As you can see, I got a got quite a few. I mean, I've got more than that. I got eight pages or more worth. So now you have to go to the top right here where it says products right here where I'm highlighting in blue kind of for you at the top. It says plus sign list new project product. Click it. Click that button. Okay, you have to do this with every product, okay? So now we are going to go to texture and we're going to find the actual texture. So what do I name this? Do, 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 do. See all the stuff I've worked on? Do, 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 do. Where are we? Where are we? Oh my god. Okay. I know I'm totally professional, right? Um, oh my gosh. I forgot what I named it. Um, okay. I'm feeling kind of stupid right now. But hey, this is what you do every time you go into this. Um, ah, Monster Claw Boots pick. And then it will load. This is our pretend item now. Okay? Now, when it comes to the item right here, you're going to want to click this button called Change Item. Now, you can type in here Monster if you want. And then this is the, the one you see with the square with the multiple colors. That's the actual picture that you're using. If, you, if it's a texture thing you're using, then fine, you can use that. But we're trying to sell boots, so we'll always be in a cube, like an object cube, like it would be in your inventory. Click Select. Now it says the Liver LJH Design Monster Claw Boots box. Okay? Here is where you're going to change the price. We're going to change, we're going to put the price at 100 just for crabs and giggles. And then our last item was um, no mod, no copy, no transfer. Okay, but the item itself is copy. We're not doing the box's permission, we're doing the object inside the box's permission. So here we're doing copy permissions. Okay, now you can change all this stuff here, but when you're starting out, you don't really need to do any of that. So just go in the bottom, see this button, the very, very bottom? It says save, click it, and let your Casper van do its thing. Okay, we're only just gonna do one product. We're just learning how to do a product. I ain't gonna show you how to do uh, vendors, and I am not going to show you how to do profiles in this video, but I will later on down the road. Okay, that's how to load a product. So now, when we scroll through, we're going to go through 100 per, per page. So we're probably going to have two pages because I have 148 items. Now, let's see. Does it usually in alphabetical order, usually? But let's see. Yep, it's in alphabetical order. It's in alphabetical order. Kind of. Okay. Now, it's turning me into a liar. So let's just go ahead and type in monster. Alright. You can even type part of it and it works. And it says right here LJH Design Monster Claw Boots Box. The price is 100 Stock is unlimited. Copy no mod no transfer. Now, you want to click on your, um, you've got to go back in world, click on your item, and you want to go back to admin again, and then click go to page again. It's going to take you to your separate tab at the top of the page, however, it's going to be a new tab. Okay, so now it's a single product, if you so wish, but we're going to go ahead and you actually have to load this vendor with the actual items that you want. So for now, for this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it with just a single product. Now, if we can just find it, that'd be amazing, right? L -M 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 -M. 
mm da 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 monster monster hello <laughs> all right see now it's changed click on your item and you want to go back to admin again and then click go to page again now if you look at this seven panel vendor this whole entire thing is just this one product now if you click buy I have unavailable on it says 100 linden so you can go ahead and right click and you click pay and 100 lindens for this beautiful picture <laughs> of my so-called monster claw boots if you have any more questions please go ahead and shoot me an i am in world my name is Lisa joya i want to thank you for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel have a great day